Today we're going through the licensing within Business Central, uh, in particular discussing the price points of the different licenses, um, the different levels of access each one gives, and the functionality you get with um, different licenses. Microsoft does provide a licensing guide on its website, but it's over 60 pages long and it encompasses all the Dynamics products. Um, so trying to make heads or tails, it can be quite confusing. Um, so I've tried to summarize that in this video just for the key points specifically around Business Central. So at its core, Business Central has three license types. It has Essentials, Premium, and then Team Members. So let's ignore Team Members for a second because uh, Microsoft sort of class them as additional licenses. Um, you have to have at least an Essentials or a Premium license within in Business Central. So Essentials is a slightly cheaper. That's the entry-level license in Business Central. And with that, you get everything um, with the exception of service order management and manufacturing. So on the screen here, you can see all the modules that are included with Essentials. And the only difference between Essentials and Premium is Premium, you get all the Essential stuff plus the um, the modules for service order management and manufacturing. There's no other differences in that. You don't get any additional storage. You don't get a different experience based on one or the other. It's purely just functionality that differentiates the two. So on the screenshot here, I've just included that with Business Central, you get 80 gigabytes, whether you buy Business Central Essentials license or premium, that's your tenant um, limit is 80 gigabyte. Now with that as well, you get three sandboxes and one production environment. So they all count towards that 80 gigabyte limit you get, and um, you can purchase additional storage and production environments if required. And um, the last point of checking, I think the storage came in at around additional gig with around $10, 10 pounds. And obviously price breaks as you went higher with that, like a hundred gig ended up being about $5, five pounds a, a gigabyte. So it's sort of aligned with the rest of how is your um, scales. Uh, and you can do the same now in Business Central, starting from a gigabyte all the way up to like 100 gigabyte, and you can keep adding on to that. Um, you can also purchase additional production environments. Um, and that brings me on to the mixing and matching of licenses in that you can have a, um, if you within the same environment in Business Central, you can only have essentials or premium. So you can't say these users don't use servicing and manufacturing, so they only need essentials. All users in the environment have to have the same license type. Um, but if you have multiple environments under the same tenant, they can be different. So you could have one environment using essentials and one environment using premium. You can mix them that way, but it's not within the same um, environment. So in the third license type, what Microsoft called additional users are team members. So these are light touch users, essentially, for people who aren't really responsible for a particular function within Business Central, um, mainly for read-only access, although they do offer some uh, right access. Um, but as a breakdown on here, Microsoft, I've included this from the Microsoft Licensing Guide, um, read anything within Business Central, update existing data entries, um, like customer vendor and item records, which are already created, um, approve reject tasks in workflows or assigned to user, create, edit, and delete a quote, create, edit, delete personal information, and enter a timesheet. So that's essentially what these are for. Um, think approvers, um, sometimes like, Directors who don't need daily -day access to Business Central might be set up with a team member license. They can just go in and approve. People who might need to post time in Business Central but don't do tasks within it um, and things like that. Or if a customer service agent who just needs to go in and view customer records and potentially just update bits of them, that's where team members come in. And they are priced at a much lower price point, which I'll, I'll get to at the end. Um, then the other type of license. So they're the three license types, but then we have what's called device licenses in, in Business Central. Now, what these are, are licenses specific to a device. So a common example of this, if you have a warehouse terminal uh, that multiple people need to access, rather than licensing it for every user, you just have a device user for that, which come in at around £32 a month. Um, and that basically gives anyone who signs into that terminal, uh, or it could be a shop, it's not just um limited to that it could be anything that's device related now there's a few limitations i've touched from the licensing guide that microsoft put in around you can't use it to do things like job queues and schedule tasks and the first user that signs in cannot be that but that's more of an administration thing um but they are useful then for areas where you've got like um perhaps a shop floor point of sale uh, or a warehouse terminal How that works in with the Power Platform, Microsoft are really keen on, you know, if you're using Business Central, 
that you are talking, you're using some of the Power Platform and Power Apps and things like that alongside it. So with Business Central Premium and Essentials, you do get limited use rights for Power Apps and Power Automate, which basically means you can run um, Power Automate workflows out of Business Central and you don't, users don't need an additional license for that. And same with Power Apps. This is some like of the um, ready-built Power Apps for around Business Central. Guys who wouldn't need an additional license for that. They could use the uh, limited use rights license they get with Business Central. It's also worth noting that um, users within an organization that have um, Business Central, even if they're not licensed to it, they can still access information and uh, views of Business Central via Microsoft Teams. And they won't need a license for that. So if someone wants to share a sales quote something from Business Central via um, smart cards in Teams, that person can view it, see it, click around in it without needing to be licensed in Business Central. So that brings me on to the pricing around the licenses. So this is in GBP and it's as of July this year. And then it's $57.50 for a Business Central Essentials license, goes up slightly to eight to two twenty for a premium, and then it's six pounds sixty for a team member license. So you'll see how the team member license comes in a lot cheaper. Um, because its functionality is is a lot less. For most clients, essentials will be enough. If they're not doing servicing and manufacturing, then they can just stick with essentials. They don't get any additional benefits with premium. That's purely if they want to use manufacturing and uh, service order management. And Microsoft have very recently um, launched a promotion called Bridge to Cloud 2. Um, so it says here, Microsoft launched Bridge Cloud 2 promotion, which offers eligible Dynamics on-premise commercial customers a 40% discount during a three-year non-cancellation term when migrating to most D365 online products licensed through an eligible partner at NCE. So what does that mean? That essentially means that if you are on an on-premise version of Microsoft Dynamics Nav, Business Central, or GP, you could be eligible for... 40% discount when moving across to Business Central. There's some other products involved in that, but they're the three ones that people most commonly move from to Business Central. And it's especially enticing for anyone on Dynamics GP, um, given Microsoft's recent announcements around GP's future and its advice for clients to start planning to move to Business Central and move to the cloud to make use of AI. It's a good promotion for people around that because they can get 40% discount on those licenses that we've previously mentioned and by making use of this bridge to cloud. Um, so, you know, there's plenty of partners out there that are doing that. So I'd reach out to a partner if that's something that you, you uh, if you are currently on Dynamics GP or even Dynamics Nav, and it does include anyone who's on Dynamics Business Central on-premise. Uh, but the further caveats around that could be provided by, by a partner.